2 between Pandor and Balance. Pandor with a very, very convincing win in game 1. 12 o'clock location, Pandor starting as the... They did it again. And I'm kind of wondering if they... Was this an intentional troll? I cannot do the color swap. I'm sorry, guys. So this is kind of the... What, what do I call that? Like peach off color? Well, peach Terran. Bottom left corner, we have pink Zerg. So the colors are once again very, very close. And this is honestly worse than the previous match. <laughs> By a large margin. Like, this is... Like, you had the yellow and mustard yellow, at least on the minimap that was... That was differentiable, but now is that even a word? Um, but here on the minimap, you really cannot even tell. And also, Gooseheaded is confirming Pandora's statements that Semi Pandora and Urban are in the the same caliber range. And Sem he, he agrees with me also with the sentiment. Uh, shout out to Gooseheaded. He uh, first of all, Gooseheaded has like a you can just tell he's got a lot of latent passion, and he um, he. He just loves the game, and he he just uh, I'm trying to try I'm trying to think of the way to word this. He is like the archetype of the excited gamer, which is what kind of keeps the community like fueled and running. I have no other way to like convey that and state that. Like you can just he's excited about everything and the stuff happening, and he just uh, has a the enthusiasm is contagious. I'll put it that way. Uh, yeah, that's what I'll say about. Goose headed while he's hanging out here. I'm hoping to get some replays with him in here. But he's also a decent ladder player and knows he's on the inn where I uh, do not have time to, to walk about the ladder so he can give me inside scoop. In the meantime, it looks like we do have a hatchery opener here. Looks like we had a more conservative supply depot into barracks this time for Pandor at the 12 o'clock location, which surprises me a bit on Apocalypse. Um, I, I do wonder, I'm waiting to see. A Terran potentially go mech on Apocalypse, but we'll we'll have to see. First scout for balance, however, he is going to be able to get that Overlord into the cozy position over that natural expansion. The SCV able to adjust, and Pandor immediately sending out that drone to potentially go for uh, a third base somewhere out in the field. Let's see if he goes. We'll see if he how rapidly he decides to invest. That this is a very early drone to be out on the map to grab something, and that would be a potential risky hatchery take. If he at this stage, I feel like it's a little bit risky. To go for that. Um, but anyway, drones making their way up to gas. SV, I believe, got the scout, and this is definitely looking like a two hatch mutalist opener. Yeah, I think this is just Miss Micro Drone right this second, but he's going to go ahead and fold into here. I think this actually might be a little bit early too, so might end up doing the, the jog back to the main to return. Yeah, he's going to do one cycle back to the main to return the resources here, but got caught last second. And the SCV, speaking of resources, was able to steal. Just a sliver off the mineral pile. Cost half a zergling. The difficult to build front door terrain of Apocalypse showing itself. So we got the two supply depot and the, the barracks along edge. I guess, is this just the way it builds? Uh, for some reason, my brain is not recalling Terran front door uh, construction as far as what the pros are doing here. But it is kind of a wide, awkward natural expansion. Some Marines being filtered in natural expansion going up. We got a second barracks being built behind this, a gas being tacked on. I'm expecting Academy first in the space of this and uh, some pressure on the front from Pandor. So already has that, uh, that Academy up and rolling. Zergling speed upgraded, although we see no Zerglings on the field as of yet. And Pandor, uh, sorry, Balance just allowing Pandor to keep that SCV in the base and get full information in the meantime. Like full eyes, and so he knows that it's not—it's going to be two hatch mutalisk and an attempted grab at a third at another location. Also, critically, sees the second extractor grab. Is this going to be—is this turning into two hatch? I wonder if this is going to be a two hatch muta all in, uh, potentially from balance right this second. We'll see the if he wanders another drone out in the field and tries to go for some defensive play uh, with the mutalisk. In the meantime, three marines charging to the front a little bit earlier, so kind of an off timing here. But again, this is a great play from Pandor, seeing zero Zerglings. So two Zerglings with speed making their way up. The Marines with some nice micro able to clear out one of them. And now it's two V3 and the drones having to be pulled. So some interruption. And again, a lot of Zerglings getting wiped out. Got a drone on top of it. So yeah, he lost three Marines. But honestly, I feel like that was well worth it. Stymied the economy a little bit, forced some additional Zerglings to be constructed. Uh... I think that was pretty solid overall. Let's see if he has a if he's going to go for a continuation attack. He's already dropped the engineering bay, so potentially not. We'll see some fire bats get queued up. 
but still no Salton Colony out in the front as well. So I wouldn't be shocked, honestly, if, Bal if Pandora goes for a continuation attack and decides to go for a charge. Never mind, he's already dropped that third barracks, so opting to go play a little bit more defensively. See if he goes for three barracks or uh, four barracks as far as a follow-up. So Medic Marine's going to go ahead and push out right this second. Mulusks are being constructed and on the way. And the, let's see how deep he goes with this as well, because oftentimes you don't want to go too deep and have your Medic Marines just kind of stranded out in the open field. The Zergling's trying to go for an end around, but we already have the Firebat. Ooh, a little bit out of position, Firebat. Firebat's a little bit out of scope, so the Zergling's going to be able to get some harassment done on the barracks line. Fortunately for Pandor, nice stim, able to clear them out, and also the SCV being very favorable as far as its movement pattern. Pandor drawing the Medic Marine line already the, all the way to the natural, getting a lot of damage done on that Sunken Colony, forcing an empty there, and also able to, some nice micro, forcing the Mutals to engage the Medic Marine at the natural expansion. It looks like he got a lot of drone kills. Either that or it was a pullback clear off. So getting some heavy damage done. Balance. Yeah, dropping. Able to, to clear out the Medic Marine. And he's at least keeping the gas going. But lost everything at his natural expansion. Is down to 15 drones. Double the economy right now. At least he is getting that third up in the space of this. A great trade overall. The Firebats wandering out. They're going to get picked off very rapidly. Uh, frees up some supply more than anything. For Pandora, he's already got some turrets up over that third, and this, honestly, with that turnaround, balance might be relegated to just going a whole lot of Mutalisk to try to equalize things. Lost a Mutalisk right there. Two of them are already very, very battered with the previous exchanges. No plus one weapons upgrade at this stage. Uh, something Colony is getting dropped, so continuing to play this defensively, trying to get what free damage he can. Some nice micro, not able to get that Medic. Ooh, did pick off the Medic with the turnaround, but lost a Mutalisk for his effort. In the space of this, more, let's see, wait for the Mulus to go ahead and continue to make their way out. Ball of eight right here the second. It's going to be a minute for, before that Ranger plus one weapons finishes. And having the barracks at this forward position instead of back at the, you often see it lift off and move back here to get under that defensive turret line. You can see Pandor uh, losing a handful of Marines. And actually, yeah, it's going to go ahead and cancel it, lift that up, get it into more a defensive situation. And Balance doing what damage he can. Is he going to be able to get it to the red before? We'll see. SCVs continue to get taken out. Drawing That is drawing the mules to take a little bit of missile shot. And Pandora has to move out and engage this. Range is finished, but plus one weapon's not. Exposing the, the medics a little bit. Another mutilus wiped out. That barracks is going to be able to limp back to the, the four-gate position. Do we have an... We, okay, we do have the factory already constructed. And pretty good timing on the starport as well. But a lot of mutilus being constructed here for Balance to try to equalize, and he's gotten a lot of marine kills out of this. Gotten a lot of marine kills out of this, but he's going to have to be even more aggressive with these mules and basically probably win the game at this stage by wiping out that medic marine army. And once that plus one weapon kicks in, that's usually when things uh, start trading the other direction. And keep in mind there wasn't a plus one weapons up, uh, upgrade for these mutalisks. Bottom right hand corner is up, no gas in place as of yet. Pandor has comps at it. He's a bit light on medic marine forces, but has done a good amount of battering of Balance's economy and Mutalisk army in the interim. So both starports up. Do we... Looking for the science facility in the space of this. So two starports, no science facility as of yet. Overlord getting spotted by that factory and getting pushed off. The Mutalisks swing back around. Okay, we got drones bottom right, but no gas cap as of yet. Very, very important to get that gas up. Queen's Nest being dropped in anticipation of that gas flow. It's so important to have that gas up just so you have that padding as Zerg. Because it is the gas versus gas battle as far as the, the next the next stages of things. But we got two Mutalists fairly, fairly heavy damaged. Trying to pick off what Marines they can. But Pandor now with that plus one weapons and the rest of the upgrades in tow with the science facility and science vessels shortly to follow. Starting to stage and get a little bit more map presence. Mules working on that factory a bit. Trying to do what they can. Try to force it away uh, from the vision line. Pa uh, Balance actually never resaturated. So he's got some drones here, but never resaturated his natural expansion. 
in the space of this. So, and he is starting to mine, I think, uh, minerals here out of necessity, bottom right. Needs to get that gas back up in line. That could be the reason he wasn't mining gas prior, is he, because of those early economic losses. And needed to get the, a bit of a mineral balance out there. Pander moving out with an SCV potentially to grab his third. Taking position mid-map. We only have six mulisks out in the field. We, or we have the tech to hive for balance in the meantime. It feels like this is going to come out pretty late, however. And we're going to have uh, science vessels a lot of irradiates to work with. Well before those defilers are out there. And that does give opportunity for Pandor to either assault bottom right or take another shot at that natural expansion. Trying to abuse the uh, the science vessels forward. Irradiate just about finished. And these mutalisks are still trying to get what value they can. Getting a, a handful of marines, but this is also giving full exposure on the front field. So just a little bit of energy missing. Oh, careful, marines. A little bit of energy missing to drop that irradiate. Irradiate is, in fact, upgraded. And more mutalisks going to field together. Unfortunately, this is this is a big mutalisk ball, and usually I'd say, okay, that's a big mutalisk threat, but this is what the science vessels are hunting for right now, is to just drop and irradiate on the mutalisk ball head, and maybe balance can make up for it by getting a good split, but it's going to be a challenge. So there's one irradiated drop, and man, it's catching, okay, a decent split that's still a pile of four that got wiped out, and a lot of damage in the meantime. They're completely gone, only a single sunken colony here. And Pandor, yeah, he's going to be able to walk into this natural expansion. He's still got another Radiate to work with. and doesn't even need to drop it on those Mutalists. There's GG from Balance. Great play from Pandor here. Easily handling Balance in the opening stages. GG right there. I have to say, actually, between when I last callous, uh, last callous, last cast Balance, there I was able to say that sentence, uh, I saw improvements in his play as well. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.